Hey, what's up, everybody? Tanner Slay is coming at you guys with another gameplay commentary. This is a 4v4 search and destroy match on Terminal. And I do want to say this is a overtime match. This map is intense, and we end up winning 4-3. But, um, guys, I do want to tell you guys a little bit about, about myself. Um, I started out playing this game uh, a year and a half ago, I want to say. But um, starting out Xbox, I started playing Halo 3. And that really got me going, and it really, you know, gave me a drive to play Xbox. That's the game I was dying to play after school. You know, I, I wouldn't really do my homework because I really wanted to play it so bad, that kind of game. Um, but I started out playing Xbox um, from Halo, and from years past, um, I've just been kind of balancing uh, Halo and Call of Duty. Um, I know I post only Call of Duty videos, so it, it's kind of hard to see, I guess. Um, that I play Halo. Um, if you guys do not know what Halo is, I swear I hope you guys know. Um, but I will try and post some gameplays. I mean, I know you guys won't like it, but you know, if I get a really good gameplay in Halo, um, I will probably try and upload it. Same thing for Gears of War. If it's like a GB match, um, I just got a team with a couple of my friends, and if I get a really good match in there, I'm not gonna lie, I will probably upload it. So um, definitely, guys, you know, kind of be flexible with me. You know, um, don't be too kind of uh, mad of what I upload. I still will always upload Call of Duty videos. Um, so yeah, that's really all I gotta say about that. But I've been watching the MLG Orlando uh, live stream uh, of Halo. I think the commentators wise, uh, comparing Black Ops to uh, Halo Reach, I do say that um, Halo Reach commentators are probably more funnier, more, uh, more loose, I guess if you could say. They're more, you know, accurate and they're more fun to listen to and watch um playing watching the screen and uh playing halo as a halo player i am um but to black ops i think the commentators really seem kind of you know kind of dead most of the time i know holiday doc tries to you know um spice things up which I'll, i don't have a problem with holiday doc but his partner man oh man if i heard that guy's voice in the dark i would literally scream to the top of my lungs but I just, I don't know, I just, I like watching Halo more, um, I think it's more entertaining. Starting out as a Halo player, um, I really see, uh, the way that the Halo franchise or, you know, the pro circuit has really evolved. I've been trying to keep up most to date, um, about the whole pro circuit in Halo Reach, but, um, I've been watching it lately and I turned it on. Um, I went to Game Battles and I was watching it and Straight Rippin' versus Fnatic Classic. I do want to say guys, Straight Rippin' is probably my favorite team. Um, my best team that I, you know, have known and followed for uh, a pretty long time now. I've been following them ever since um, Halo 3. And I love watching uh, way, way back in the day guys. Halo 2 was on the pro circuit. It was so intense, just like the way that MLG has evolved. It is absolutely incredible, um, but it is, it's not the same feeling, like, you know, you can be, you can be at home and, you know, watching the live stream now and everything looks so calm and the gameplays are really intense, but when you look back in the day, you know, the crowd was up on their feet every single game, every game, um, Halo 2, I love watching that game, I still watch gameplays back from back in the day, um, just the intensity of it is just so fun and entertaining to watch. I think it's just so cool. If you guys uh, type in, you know, Halo 2 MLG event, um, and you know, something should pop up. Just listening to the communication and just the play styles, and you know, if, if you pick out a player like Ogre 2 and look at him now in Halo Reach or Halo 3, see how like you know different and how he's adapted his play style to um, to the different Halo series and how. Uh, how intense it gets, but um, getting into back to uh, Straight Ripping and Fnatic Classic. Straight Ripping again is my you know favorite team. It's just kind of like a football team, kind of really you know. Um, I've always been uh, rooting for Straight on anything I could. You know, maybe if it was like a a, a Facebook page or you know um, maybe a link or something, a, a chat box or anything like that. Um, I've always been you know showing the support to Straight Ripping, um, but. I have uh, watched the game against them. They were down, all right, all right, all right. Um, I want to say it's the best of three in the series, so it's just like a GB match, um, and they lost the first map, so um, the second map was uh, CTF, 
best of five on CTF on the pit. And the best of five, really, guys, is just, you know, five fly caps. Um, that's really what it all is. But I was watching that game, and they were down 0-2, to two, straight was down. And they came back with a miraculous uh, clutch teamwork with communication. They definitely, definitely stepped it up. And um, I was so proud. I was, I was doing the little uh, Jersey Shore uh, fist pump in the air, yelling straight at my computer. I felt like a retard. Um, <laughs> But it really, really impressed me of how this team, uh, Straight Ripping, has you know, kind of molded together. Uh, the team consists of T-Squared, um, Murkage, Toxic, and Adrenaline. Uh, all have really, really, uh, Adrenaline and T-Squared really have some solid um, backgrounds. You can definitely you know, look them up, guys. Um, Murkage and Toxic are really you know, newer players to the circuit, and I think that's why they're... Um, on T Squared's team, T Squared is probably the best leader of all time. I would probably say, of um, definitely adding new players to Straight Ripping. You know, sticking to the same squad, getting the job done, playing the game, which really is what a leader and a captain's all about. Um, but you never find that on any Call of Duty game, in my opinion, unless the team has been sticking together for a long time. You know, as many teams as people hop to, um, like myself. You know, I hop around in a couple of teams. I'm finally on a team, um, but. I have noticed that playing Halo and playing Call of Duty is totally different. Um, in Halo-wise, communication, your callouts really have to be on key, very precise, very short. You don't want to cluster up the communication lines, I guess that they say. Um, you definitely got to keep your callouts short, simple, accurate, and you're probably you know good on that. Um, individual skill probably comes into play. Uh, say you know if you get a you know clutch or flag stop or um, they used to have bomb if you, you know had to sneak in a bomb or anything like that But I've noticed that Halo takes so much more teamwork uh, Than Call of Duty, you know, I might get a lot of hate from that But if you guys do watch Halo, you know, it thinks, you know Like say shot wise, you know, Call of Duty one person can take out the whole team They can dominate, they can pull the flag, they can run it down the middle the shortest way And still flag cap it, you know, and it's done You know, you don't need really any your team at all unless your team is set up and really doing their job but in Halo it takes communication teamwork team shots uh, and that's about it like call outs like I said accurate but um I really think that you know just because you can eat more shots I guess people say or sponge more shots in Halo I really think you know it's a more of a uh, a better entertaining game to watch you know like I just said um, Call of Duty is really kind of just one person doing their thing you know it can happen I'm not saying it always is don't get me wrong Call of Duty is a team-based game. I love, you know, team-based games that take a lot of skill, communication, and all that. But coming from a player that, you know, I've kind of molded to uh, one player that plays all these games. Like, I play Call of Duty 4, you know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Halo 3, Halo Reach, Gears of War 3. All those games and all those different play styles is really, really, um, really good to have on a player um, if you guys do you know only play one game you know be a little looser you know play play a couple different games and I guarantee you, if you play those different games and come back to Call of Duty you will see a phenomenal difference in your gameplay and um, I promise you that you will definitely start doing better if you're if you're you know struggling and you're still you know what what the hell you know Tanner slays you know he's lied to me I'm gonna go on subscribe and dislike all his videos um, then you're probably not at your best playing ability in Call of Duty. That just you can get that just by playing, um, you know, as much Call of Duty as you possibly can, whenever you can. Uh, playing time, playing you know public matches or just GB singles matches or doubles or whatever. Um, but if you do be uh, more fond of playing different games, I have noticed that you know if you rage on one game and you just say you know what I'm done with this game, I hate it, I'm just gonna go put it away. And you start playing different games, and then, you know, like, somebody sends you an invite and says, hey, you want a team, and, you know, you start getting on your team, and you're like, you know, wow, why am I so, like, you come back and you do a good game, and you're like, wow, you know, why did I stop, you know, playing this game? And, um, it's just because, you you know, you've taken a break, you're not, your mind isn't on it so much, you can't, you know, you're not thinking of that last kill that you got outgunned on, or, you know, the thing you could have nated or pre-nated to win that round, or anything like that. Um, so I do recommend, guys, playing different games, um... As you can see here, this is, is an intense 
uh, Call of Duty match right now is, is 3-3, three, three, and um, it is very, very intense. I know we were uh, definitely playing it slow. This is a team from a while back, um, but I have been hopping yeah. from team to team. But uh, yeah, guys, if you guys aren't watching the MLG Orlando stream on Game Battles, I definitely would say go to check it out. And um, I would, you know, say if it's a commercial yeah, on, uh, you know, man, Black Ops or Halo Reach, I think they might do them on the same times, you know, when they switch to commercial. So it doesn't really matter which stream you watch. But definitely listen to the communication and playing style of Call of Duty Black Ops. Listen to Halo Reach, and I guarantee you, you will learn some things or two. But uh, this gameplay is wrapping up, guys. As you can see, it is a pretty darn good score in an overtime match. So I ha hope you guys have enjoyed this long gameplay. Uh, commentary and I hope you guys have learned a couple things or two so thanks for watching